What's up guys, Ninth Jim here, back with another VGC 2020 Pokemon Sword and Shield competitive video. Today, we're talking about G-Max Toxtricity, and it's not really focused on G-Max, it's really just Toxtricity. However, we have the option to G-Max now, with it being legal in 2020, so why not use it? You know, it's it's very similar to things like Alcremi and, uh, and other Butterfree and stuff, Grimmsnarl, where if you have the G-Max, you might as well use the G-Max, because it's like, it's nice to have that option, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, so it's nice to have the option with G-Max Toxtricity. Anyway, Toxtricity is pretty cool, it's typing is really interesting, Electric Poison, only having two weaknesses, a bunch of resistances, pretty solid stats across the board, except for speed. If only, if this Pokemon was fast, it'd be crazy. It has a really good ability, very unique ability, um, I don't actually know if Punk Rock is an ability that other Pokemon get, but... Yeah, it's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and talk about it. So, Electric Poison Typing gives you eight, <laughs> eight resistances, which is good. Electric Grass, Fighting, Poison, Flying, Bug, Steel, Fairy. That's a lot of resistances, all really good. This Pokemon isn't insanely frail. Like, it's not super bulky. It's very average. But you can definitely take on a couple of attacks from resisted hits pretty easily. One or two, maybe three. Probably two, maybe three. I don't know. Um, but it's pretty good. And then we have one two times weakness, which is psychic, and then one four times weakness, which is ground. Ground is very bad. You don't want to get hit by a ground attack. We have a couple of options to help mitigate that a little bit. Um, and we'll talk about that, those more in a little bit here. But for now, let's go ahead and talk about the stats. So HP 75, uh, defense and, and special defense both at 70. All across very average, you know, nothing insane, nothing stand out insanely there. Um, but... I mean, not not too bad, you know. Especially if you Dynamax um, or G Max, then you can definitely mitigate that that like very average uh, defenses pretty easily. You know, just have to be really careful of ground type attacks, like very careful. And then we have Attack 98, which doesn't really matter because we're using Special Attack. It actually kind of sucks that it's so high, but Special Attack 114, which is actually really good. Like that's very solid. Then we have 75 Speed. Like it's average. It's not insane, but it's really bad like compared to really fast stuff and when you have things like Excadrill and other fast Pokemon that have uh, Ground type attacks or slow stuff um, For a trick room things like Rhyperior and even Gastron so it like it makes this Pokemon kind of hard being in the middle Speed stat being so weak to certain types which just really sucks um, and then we have our ability Punk Rock, giving us 30% additional damage on our sound base moves and halves the uh, damage from sound base moves from opponent opponents. So, it's pretty cool. I mean, the only really good sound base moves here um, that our opponents are going to use is like Snarl, which doesn't really do much damage anyway, but it'll do literally like 4 damage, 5 damage. It's really, really little. Um, anyway, so that's going to be it for our overview. We'll go ahead and jump into the build itself here. So... Toxtricity, the build itself. So ability, we're using Punk Rock. Like I just said, it's pretty good. It, it affects uh, Overdrive and Boom Burst. Also, also Snarl if you use it, um, which it, it is in our Flex Moves right up there. So it's definitely a good option. So ability, Punk Rock is good. Then you also have plus or minus. So we saw this with like Clang in the past, like Clang and Clang Clang and, and Pokemon like that with, that also have plus and minus to give both of them a special attack buff. So that's another option as well. But for this, we're just going Punk Rock since we're not really synergizing with anything um, as far as like the plus minus goes. Then next we have item Throat Spray. So this is pretty good here. Um, what it does is whenever you use a sound based item or a sound based attack, you raise your special attack by one stat. This is pretty good, although it does require you to use a sound based attack first, something like Overdrive or Boom Burst or even Snarl um, to activate the Throat Spray. But once you do, Pokemon, it, it gets a plus in special attack, already really solid special attack. It, it starts to deal a lot of damage out, which is really cool. Then next, we have other options as well for items. We have Air Balloon, which is the main one that mitigates that air, that, um, ground four times weakness a ground quad weakness that's really really big and daunting against this pokemon well air balloon makes it so we're unaffected by it until we get hit so it's you know it's really good until we get hit and there are things out there like rock slide dazzling gleam all these like multi-targeting attacks that just like break the the air balloon immediately 
and then you're in a bad position. So we, we went with Throat Spray for this build, but all four of these items are actually really good. So then we also have two other options, Choice Specs and Choice Scarf, one making you stronger, one making you faster at the cost of being locked into your first attack. Um, so all of these are good. However, I just went with Throat Spray because it's generically, it's, it's going to be the best most of the time, I think. But like I said, all of them are good. So you do really have your options there. Then we have moves next on to the move section. So we have Overdrive, Sludge Bomb, Boom Burst, and Protect for this set. Overdrive and Sludge Bomb just being our best um, spread, spread, best stab special attacking moves. Overdrive and Sludge Bomb are pretty solid. Overdrive is, all, Overdrive is also a um, sound based move, so it activates your throat spray. It also is buffed by Punk Rock, dealing a lot of damage, an additional 30%, and then gaining one special attack speed special attack stat very very powerful next we have sludge bomb just being a good stab move that's really it boom burst is pretty good uh hitting all pokemon you can use this alongside something like dusclops or, or any kind of ghost type um and then not damage it as well and hitting only your opponent's pokemon which is a cool option that you have as well on the boom burst it's also a sound based move so it activates um throat spray and is affected by punk rock which is good then onto our flex moves, we have Snarl, which is really good. It's also a sound-based move, so it does activate your Throat Spray as well as being affected by Punk Rock, which is really good. Um, also lowering the, st the special attack move, uh, the special attack stat of both opposing Pokemon. Snarl is a really good move on this Pokemon and definitely something that I wanted to put on, but I thought Boom Burst was really good. You can definitely, like, if I made any switch, any changes to this build, it would be Snarl and Boom Burst, like, instant just trade. I would, that's what the first thing I would do. Then next we have Volt Switch, Nuzzle, and Taunt. Volt Switch, just being able to hit and then get out of there. This is a really good option if you are using either of the choice items. And then we also have Nuzzle, which just guarantee po uh, paralysis, which is good. And then we have Taunt, which just Taunt. It's just good to have, like, a move like that, especially since it can turn into Max Guard if you Max as well, which is cool. It gives us another option. So that's about it for our moves. We'll go ahead and talk about our investments here. It'll, it'll be pretty brief. 252 into special attack and 252 into speed. Just being very basic. Doing as much damage and as fast as possible. Um, with modest nature, we're going plus special attack minus attack. Since we don't use any attack anyway. And most of the Pokemon that we would outspeed from going to timid uh, for the nature, it's they're just not really that good. Like we're not going to see many of the Pokemon in between these two. Uh, very frequently so I just went with modest just to get a, get more damage without it really mattering since the speed doesn't matter matter too much then next we have synergetic Pokemon so first off we have tail uh, the whimsicott for tailwind and also fake tears this is just a really strong synergy you know being able to make your guy fast and stronger it, it just works really well then we have togekiss being able to follow me and have ground immunity really good stuff being able to just like Oh, follow me, Excadrill, and then Excadrill goes into that, wastes its turn. Toxicity gets a good attack off, something like maybe a Boom Burst Overdrive. Although, if you're up against an Excadrill, this Pokemon really sucks anyway. Honestly, Excadrill is just the biggest downside of this Pokemon in general. Then we have Milotic here, and Milotic deals with the Excadrill, Tyranitar, Pokemon that Toxicity just can't deal with. Um, Milotic just deals with them really well, which is good. And then you also have Coil and Hypnosis to, to offer an additional win con, which is really good in general. So that's about it for our build. We'll go ahead and talk about some speed tiers here. So as far as speed tiers go, we don't hit the best one. I'm about level with my forehead here, over there, over there, Toxtricity. We are at 127 with neutral and 252 investment, which is pretty good. We outspeed a couple of good Pokemon. Tyranitar, always unless it's Scarfed, and DD Female, always unless it's Max Invested, which it won't be, it'll always be uninvested. Like nine out of 10 times it'll be uninvested. And then we have Milotic, which is at 101, uninvested. Um, it won't be it's speed invested, like nine out of 10 times it won't be. So Tyran so like Toxicity outspeeds a lot of good stuff. Also all like very slow Pokemon, things like Jellicent, uh, Sylveon, you know, all these slow guys, we're just going to outspeed anyway, which is good. And then other Pokemon that do actually outspeed us. So we have Butterfree and Duraludon being two of the main ones that are right in between our Toxtricity and our Positive Toxtricity at Timid Nature. So that's fine. You know, Duraludon a lot of the time will be faster anyway using Timid. So it'll be at 150 and we won't be able to outspeed it with the, the Nature Change anyway. Um, next we have... Braviary, Chandelure, Togekiss, all here at 145. All of them are going to be outspeeding us always. And then Gyarados, always going to be outspeeding us as well. Um, none of those are too problematic, though. Um, also, 
Another option is getting Trick Room on this team as well, being able to Trick Room on any fast or, or above average speed Pokemon. Toxicity will then be able to outspeed them, which is good. And then having Trick Room to also turn off um, Trick Room against Trick Room teams. It's another good option. And also, like I said, Dusclops gets around Boom Burst, so that could be a really powerful synergy as well. So that's about it for our speed tiers. We'll go ahead and talk about some damage calcs. So I will get small so you can see all of them. So damage calcs. First off, we have anything, any way of form of Excadrill, high horsepower, not even Dynamaxed attacks, not even a max move, just Oko's or Dynamax Toxtricity. This shouldn't really come as a surprise. Quad weakness, Excadrill is very powerful. It just kills Toxtricity. This is by far the worst matchup in the entire game for Toxtricity, and it really sucks. But it is what it is, you know, you can't really have a Pokemon that has all these amazing things, but then has no check. Like, uh, that's just how it'd be. Um, next, we have our Max Lightning into a Togekiss, a fairly defensive Togekiss, 244 HP and 4 special defense. This is uh, pretty similar to the spread of the first couple spreads on Picolytics, so this is a pretty common spread. You would typically be able to Oko with Max Lightning into a Togekiss without even needing the Throat Spray, so that's pretty good. Next, we have our special attacking overdrive into Milotic, hitting 53 to 65. You don't get an Oko using your G-Max move, um, although you can use your G-Max move and get like potentially some kind of status on the Pokemon, which is a good option as well, but you won't Oko, um, and overdrive activates your throat spray, and then you're good to keep going, guaranteed to hit, which is really good. Next, we have our Dynamax. So this one is weird and stacks a lot of buffs. So tox uh, Toxtricity, pl plus one from throat spray. Max invested, Dynamaxed, and then we also are in Electric Terrain. I know that if you G-Max, your Thunder Attack, your Electric Attack becomes the Thunder thunder Shock or whatever, the G-Max, his move. Toxic Shock, I think. Toxic Shock? Sounds about right. Um, and it won't set Electric ter Terrain. However, typical Lapras will have Electric Terrain, and if you threaten a form of sleeping it, then it'll go ahead and use that pretty early and then you can have electric terrain it's the only way to even give you a chance at okoing the gmax um lapras otherwise we're not in the greatest position we'll proc its weakness policy and not be in, a, in an amazing position so that's why i added it but with all of those buffs we do hit a 31 percent chance to oko which is really good next we have toxic Toxtricity Sludge Bomb into Hatterene. This is with Throat Spray active. Still doesn't hit a guaranteed Oko when it's Dynamaxed. If it's not Dynamaxed, we do guaranteed Oko. But if it's not, then uh, we don't threaten any kind of Oko. But it's okay. Like, it's fine. Excuse me. Next, we have Sludge Bomb into a Rotom Mo, Rotom Cut, whatever, however you want to say it. With Throat Spray active. Gives us a guaranteed Oko. Without the Throat Spray active, we don't have a guaranteed Oko. Hitting 127 to 150%. Um, however, if it is differently, this is probably the most specially defensive kind of Rotom that you'll see. Like 252, 92. A lot of them will be bold and more investment into defense. So you'll, pro like you'll probably beat Rotom Cs uh, or Rotom Ms, Rotom Mos, however you want to call it. That's about it for our damage calcs. We'll go ahead and talk about single spotlight real quick. So this is a build that um, doesn't really focus on the G-Max version in singles. However, you can make one that does. Um, we're using choice specs, so it doesn't really focus on that uh, G-Maxing because then we don't get the choice specs buff. But for now, this is just in singles. We're using choice specs, punk rock to deal as much damage as possible. Overdrive, boom burst, sludge bomb, and volt switch. All four are really good attacks. Volt switch is good because uh, you aren't locked into your choice then. You know, you're able to pivot out, which is really good. And then just max uh, special attack and max speed and modest for most damage possible. And like I said, going over to timid doesn't really give us too many uh, Pokemon that we outspeed anyway. So that's about it for my video today here with uh, Toxtricity. In general, overall, in sum up, Toxtricity is pretty cool. I want to play, I want to make a build of it and uh, and play it uh, for an actual video soon. I'm probably going to do that soon. We'll see. Um, Toxtricity is pretty cool. It's cool in VGC as well as singles, uh, but it's not super high tier. You know, it has a lot of weaknesses, Excadrill being in the top five of usage pokemon and it just destroys it so that's a really unfortunate thing with this pokemon that's we see that on a lot of pokemon just having one really unfortunate matchup that's super big but 
I, dig I digress, right? Uh, did I use that term right? I don't even know. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, like and subscribe, it means so much to me. If you like Toxtricity, that guy right there, I got it right this time. It's inverted. I know it now. Um, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. If you want to see any Pokemon in future videos, in whether it's a team, a battle video, or a guide, comment it down below. I try my best to do what the people want. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe in this in these awful times. Goodbye.